We are always hearing about uh, complications with the changes to the benefit system. Yes, so we thought it was time to let someone who was having problems confront the people in charge. Mm. Tony Livesey went to make it happen. Stephen Duckworth has been in a wheelchair since he was 21 years old after he broke his neck playing rugby. He's paralysed from the neck down and has limited use of his right hand. Like many people in his position, he's been watching the government's controversial disability benefit reforms with interest. But don't make the mistake of thinking Stephen's on the receiving end of this just because he's a wheelchair user. Actually, many people see him as part of the problem. It's his job to oversee some of the assessments for the new benefit that everyone's complaining about, the Personal Independence Payment, or PIP. Stephen runs Capita, which assesses about a quarter of new PIP claimants. Another company, Atos, does the rest. But since the new system was introduced, there have been backlogs. Six months in, Atos and Capita between them had 90,000 outstanding cases. If you qualify, you get £134 per week, but while you're waiting, you get nothing. Without the assessment, claimants don't receive a penny. Today, Stephen's agreed to meet Natalie. She's been waiting for 104 days for her assessment with his company Capita. When I called to make an appointment, I was told there was no appointment, but don't call us, we'll call you. It's carelessness and disrespect when this is supposed to be something to aid people with disability. It's the silence that is disrespectful more than anything else. I'm just a number on a page, a statistic. Well, first of all, can I apologise for what's happened? We have tried all the time to, to put disabled people at the forefront of our thinking and what we do. Everything is taken twice as long. The call centre that we're operating, the appointment system was completely overloaded. So it's been a really challenging time. But the main driver of that is to deliver really high quality reports. Home visits are really important to us. We actually look at each individual and their own particular circumstances. Natalie was diagnosed with ME last year and finds it very difficult to get around her home. She's desperate to apply to a local authority for disabled facilities, but without receiving a PIP payment, she can't. I'm told, apply, and then apply to us once you've got it. So it is a gateway. And it is a gateway that is locked. When you hear Natalie's story, Stephen, I just wonder what's your main emotion? For me, it's extreme frustration and disappointment, just totally beyond levels that anyone would really understand. What is the longest it will take? Let's say I had the most incompetent of your staff. None, none of my staff are incompetent. It, I was hoping not, but I'm just giving you worst case scenario. The longest that we have people waiting, waiting at the moment is 107 days. And do you think that's acceptable? That is totally unacceptable, and I've told you that. Is there a case to be made that the whole system is not fit for purpose? I mean, the system is fit for purpose now that we know. Whose uh, purpose? It, the system is becoming fit for purpose in terms of getting the right number of disability assessors that are required to deliver a assessment process. So it's, it's fit for the assessors, not the assessees? It'll be fit for the assessees soon. We need, we, the, the thing about us assessees, while, while you're getting fit, we are getting unfit and our life is going to waste. The government, along with the two assessment providers, Atos and Capita, underestimated the amount of time it would take to do the new face-to-face -face assessments. But this doesn't help Natalie. One of the great ironies of today is that next year you face your own PIP assessment, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I've been had many assessments in the past and it's always quite a anxiety-provoking process, so I'm sure I'll go through the same. There have been those who said that you're in this position because of your disability, almost a publicity stunt. How do you react to that? I'm a doctor, I have a PhD, I have a Master's in Rehabilitation Medicine. It's not a publicity stunt. Well, there goes Stephen, and fair play to the fellow. He's come along today to face the music when quite patently he knows the system isn't working. He says what he's heard courtesy of The One Show today will help him change the system, and the irony of that is come next year, hopefully, he won't have to wait half as long as a lot of other people have had to. 
Well, Natalie didn't pull any punches there, did no. she, Tony? It's been five months then since she started this claiming process. Yeah. What's the situation now? What you've got to remember is she didn't even have an assessment date till we got involved. We at the One Show rang Capita on Thursday the 17th of April, and guess what? They rang her back that afternoon and said, right, you can yeah. have an assessment date. What a surprise. So that happened this, <laughs> yeah, I know. That happened this Monday. It took an hour and a half. She said it went well, actually. She's now waiting for a result. She'll get that in a few days, hopefully. Right. The point for her, though, is if she passes, it's backdated to December when she mm. first applied it. If she doesn't pass, she gets nothing. Right, OK. But it seems to have caused so many problems. So why have they changed the system at all then? Well, the government would say that the old benefit, which was called disability living allowance, that's outdated. And this mm. PIP, uh, personal independence yeah. payment, uh, targets those who need it most. They say they brought in these face-to-face -face reviews, face-to-face uh, -face assessments. They're going to give it regular reviews. And to quote them, it reflects today's understanding of disability better than the old benefits. Mm. That's and in the long term, that's then, it's, it's a cost-saving exercise. Mm. Yeah, there's a review of it this year. And that's important because next year, a lot of the existing claimants, those people already claim disability living allowance are assessed. If it's not working properly, you can imagine the backlog. The backlog now exists just of new claimants. Yeah. The government, though, they will save, they say, by 2018, they're going to save £3 billion a year. So that's how important yeah. this is. So, and they'll also direct that money to the people that do. Yeah, they really say that's it, the whole yeah, point yeah. of the exercise. It will reach those who, 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 who need it most. But critics would say it's just a cynical money saving yeah. exercise. Okay. Issue. Well, for further information on uh, PIP, you can visit our website. Tony, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> now, last week, we introduced you to 83 year old Esther Brown.